Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. I have a super exciting video for you guys today. We are taking a look at some kind of leaked images that have popped up of some possible upcoming tailor-made drivers. Now, this is pretty exciting and it's pretty rare for leaked images to pop up this time of year. I've done some research behind these images and I'm going to be telling you guys all the information I have, my personal thoughts on this, what I think will be coming up next year, towards the end of this year, next year, with tailor-made drivers in 2021 and 2022 as well. So let's dive straight in and guys if you are new to the channel thank you guys for clicking on this video give it a like subscribe it's free to do and comment any thoughts you have down below i reply to all of your comments good or bad i want to hear your thoughts so let's dive straight in now you ready guys this is the first image i'm going to be showing you guys of this driver we have a few to go through and we have quite a, f a lot of information to tell you guys about this and what might be coming up so let's dive straight in. Now this image popped up recently from a golf course called the Butt Club, which is a very exclusive American golf course. Now let's dive straight in. What? Comment down below your initial reaction to this. A few of you might be freaking out right now. A few of you might be going, what is going on? But let me talk you through what we've got here. We have a tailor-made driver. Clearly written on it says burner. Now if you guys know anything about tailor-made drivers, you'll know the burner drivers were an incredibly successful line of tailor-made drivers. What? Oh God, it seems like a while ago now, 10 years ago, 10, maybe seven to 10 years ago, I think. And I mean, this is when I was a junior growing up, you know, playing golf. I had a burner 2.0 driver, the one with the white crown and Honestly, I kind of regret selling it. It was a great driver. It was I. It was one of my favorite golf clubs I've ever used. And the three-wood as well. They were all great. After them came like the Rocket Balls, which I don't think were quite as popular. The Burners were my favorite. And even before the Whiteheads, we had the Black Burners, which looked super, super cool as well. And in this video, we have the, uh, this, well, there's, there's quite a lot to talk about. It's hard to know where to start. Let's just piece it all together. Nine degrees, it says on the side of the head. Now, not surprising there. That's a pretty standard loft. But what does this driver look like? Well, comment down below. What do you think this driver looks like? Because to me, it looks very, very similar to a tailor-made SIM driver. Not SIM 2.0, but the actual original SIM. Now... There's some really informa interesting information coming out about this that some people are saying maybe it's a budget tailor-made golf club coming out. Maybe, you know, it might be at a slightly cheaper price point. Consumers have been screaming out for cheaper golf clubs. You know, not everyone has the money to spend on really premium products. They are expensive when they come out and they're like between $400, $500. Um, not everyone can spend that every single year on new golf clubs and you know a burner driver would burner was always it was never the most expensive I guess because you had the R line you had the kind of tailor-made you know R11 around that sort of time um, if you guys remember those drivers they were awesome and in my mind they were not very forgiving. They were definitely for better players. The burners were the more forgiving ones in my mind. Kind of like when you had the TaylorMade M1 and TaylorMade M2, the burners would have been like the TaylorMade M2 and the uh, like R11 line would have been like the TaylorMade M1. Kind of with that adjustable weighting, maybe slightly not as forgiving, but yeah. So that could be it. It could be coming out as a, you know, slightly cheaper price point, slightly more forgiving, all-round driver, one size fits all kind of thing. But that's not what I think it is. And I will be giving you guys some more information on probably what this is and what might be coming up for you guys. But first of all, before we talk about that, let's just have another look. So we have some more images. And here's a really good image of one of the driver heads all packaged up, tailor-made burner driver head pretty much from every angle. So let's take a look at these images one by one. Let's break them down. We have, first of all, top left, looking down at the club. We have, it says burner obviously on the bottom. 
we have a speed slot and it says if you notice bottom left it says d type so draw type driver now you know again maybe this would fit into that narrative that TaylorMade are going to bring out a maybe maybe it would be a draw type driver at a slightly cheaper price point maybe you know most people struggle with a slice maybe this would help you know and fit into that category nicely of helping people draw the golf ball but again, that's not what I think this is. Again, it has an adjustable loft sleeve, not surprising there. It has that speed slot. It looks pretty similar to the TaylorMade Sim 2 in my mind. Um, it actually says in very small writing, it's actually a bit too small to read. It has some writing on the bottom left and some graphics down there as well. Now, if we look at the top left image, um, it's a bit hard to tell what color the crown is. It almost looks a little bit red. I don't think it is. I think it's kind of gray. I think it's like white along the front. It looks red. I think that's just a reflection. I think it's kind of gray. Um, and then it obviously says burner on that bottom kind of portion there. And again, adjustable loft sleeve. Now let's take a look at the bottom left hand image. And we can see this one, obviously it has a twist face. It has that black face and by the way guys that just reminded me i just dropped a video all about the new tailor-made mini series drivers the mini tailor-made mini 300 series so i highly recommend checking out that video because it is pretty interesting some some actual new drivers just been released from tailor-made so check it out on my channel and so yeah in this video we have twist face on the driver um we have that white crown um, again, it does look kind of gray on top with the carbon fiber. And if we take a look at the bottom right hand image, we have uh, nine degrees, adjustable loft sleeve, D type. And we can actually see what that says. I think it says dynamic soul. Mm, I can't read that last word. Dynamic soul something. If you guys can read that, let me know. But uh, yeah, overall. You know, there's, there's quite a lot of technology we're familiar with there. Adjustable loft sleeve, twist face, speed slot. Looks like some good aerodynamics. Looks like that weight's very, very far back in the driver head. And if we throw a picture of the TaylorMade Sim on the screen, does it remind you of the TaylorMade Sim at all? So let me explain where this driver's come from and what it, well, basically what it is possibly. So this is just a theory, but this is out of everything I've seen, everything I've read, this seems like the most likely uh, kind of, the most likely outcome, I guess. Basically, when TaylorMade is designing a golf club, obviously they're gonna design a few different prototypes. They're gonna design some, you know, they're not gonna come out with a TaylorMade sim driver and they might design some other names, some other aesthetics, and then from there they might decide which one they want to go with. It looks like this is possibly one of those prototypes. It looks like this would be a driver tailor-made designed. It's possibly, in terms of technology, in terms of head shape, it could be almost identical to the sim. It could be. It's hard to know. We, obviously, we don't know. But it could be identical. The only difference it could have is the aesthetics, is the name, is the branding, is the looks. Maybe TaylorMade decided, you know, they like the, the sim with the blue writing and the, the marketing story behind the name sim instead of the burner with the red writing and stuff like that. So that is possibly a reason why they went with the sim. You know, blue is quite an in color at the moment. Red, maybe not so much. Um, I do really like it actually. I think it actually looks cool. I love the burner bit with, you know, where they've dropped the E and it's just B-U-R-N-R. -R. I think it looks sick. I think people love the burner driver. So if TaylorMade did decide to bring this out in future, or not this driver specifically, but they designed to bring back the burner line of drivers, I think that could be really popular. I mean, for me, I would I have that nostalgia of having owned one of the burner drivers when when you have that nostalgia of having owned a line of golf clubs previously and they bring it back it does hit home with you and it does make you want to kind of uh, dive back in and get that new one really I guess because I don't have my old one so it would have been a good video to compare the old with the new 
Um, a few other things like, I think that, you know, what I just said there about it being like a really loyalist product with it hitting home, that nostalgia factor, I kind of feel like in some ways that's maybe why we get a lot of people who are tight list loyal loyalists because the tight list products, they have changed a lot over time, but they've changed quite small amounts each time. They're still a very classic looking golf club. And for those people who have grown up using tight list, um, you know, that hits home with them and, you know, they'll stick with that. And I think for me, having previously owned a burner, that's, that's kind of a similar feeling of how I feel. Um, so I would love TaylorMade to bring back the burner line in future. Obviously, in this respect, it kind of, you know, who who owns this driver? Well, it's probably someone who either works or worked for TaylorMade or one of their kind of family members or friends that maybe they gave this driver to. I would guess it's probably someone pretty high up with a lot of connections, especially if they're playing the Buck Club, which is a pretty exclusive uh, club to my knowledge. I've not played there or been there. If you have, let me know, comment down below. But yeah, that is probably where this driver comes from. It is probably a prototype sim driver with different aesthetics that when they were, you know, coming out with this driver, that's why, you know, they would have decided to go with sim instead of burner. But why why has this driver come out now? Why why haven't we seen it previously? Sim was released like two years ago. Why haven't we seen it before? Well, they're going to be pretty careful with those prototypes. They don't, you know, in case they want to bring the burner line back in the future, they don't really want to be telling us about it that they've been, you know, throwing that name on previous drivers. So that is probably why they would have done that, kept it under wraps. And that's probably why we might not have seen this driver until now is, you know, it might have been locked away in a vault up until recently and maybe they've just let it out. It's kind of surprising to me that actually they've let someone use this on the course and they've let someone take it out in front of public eyes. Um, it's surprising to me because I can't imagine they would have wanted that. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this tailor-made burner driver. Uh, and let me know, you know, what do you think will be coming in uh, towards the end of this year, 2021, 2022, in terms of tailor-made drivers? I think it's going to be really interesting. I think with the tailor-made Sim 2 drivers, there was a lot of questions about the, in some respects, the lack of technology because of the lack of movable weighting. I think the color palette they went with was maybe a little bit questionable in terms of like the green that they had with the blue personally wasn't a favorite for me aesthetically. I like I like the Sim drivers. I think they looked awesome and certain things about the Sim 2 looks good. But yeah, it's not maybe not my favorite aesthetics driver. I think Titleist came out with some really good looking drivers this year. I think, uh, you know, even Callaway came out with some pretty good looking drivers, even though that green still isn't my favorite. They, um, they, they did look pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let me know. What did you guys think of the TaylorMade Sim 2 drivers? What do you think is coming in 2021, 2022? I will probably do a video on that fairly soon or maybe in a few months time. So make sure you guys do like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that out. As soon as we get any more images or anything, I will be sharing them with you guys. Any more information, I will be bringing it forward to you guys. So yeah, let me know guys. Comment your thoughts down below. Reply to all your comments. I will see you in the next one guys. Check out my previous video on the TaylorMade Mini Driver that was just released. And as always guys, grip it and rip it.